Hello, Darwin Giles here. Just want to give a political update of the campaign trail. So I just would like to share this uh, political vlog with you just to let you know that we are victorious in the campaign trail uh, despite opposition. Uh, we just want to leave you with encouragement. Uh, we are continuing to have precinct delegates come and say, you know, we receive your emails and you know what? Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for being a part of the young generation willing to make a difference inside of the Republican Party, being willing to go into areas in which uh, the Republicans have not been involved with uh, to make a difference. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to Isabel Terry, for Dave Ijema, National Republican Committeeman, to Dave Wells, to Kendrick Wallace, to uh, the associate pastors and pastors of Prince of Peace, and all the individuals who came out to our local uh, event here in Flint. Uh, not too long ago in fundraiser, we were able to raise nearly $1,000 for the inner city uh, of Flint. Uh, so we just would like to say thank you. It is those type of initiatives coming together as a, as a team to promote education within the inner city that will make a difference and will begin to change the lives of those and their perspectives about what they consider politically correct and what is not and uh, what side they should be on. Uh, as we continue to promote principles of freedom and liberty, I just want to let you know that we will continue to champion those things on the campaign trail despite opposition. Uh, it's unfortunate that we've had several smear campaigns in which we don't care to discuss because the truth is the truth shall prevail. We will continue to press hard, press forward. Uh, we just had a successful videotaping of the video that will air uh, at the state convention. So we're prepared. We're going on offense and we're staying on offense. And we're going to continue to get out the correct message. I uh, just received some emails earlier saying, thank you, Darwin, for sending out your email blast. However, uh, we are updating our software. Uh, so there were some minor glitches. But for the overwhelming support that I received, thank you. Thank you for the confirmed votes. Thank you for being willing to donate. Uh, speaking of donations, if you have any contributions in which that you could share, we uh, there's going to be a donation link put up soon. Uh, and we also would like you to inbox us on Facebook through social media saying that you're willing to contribute or give towards the campaign. Uh, we want to make sure we can hit throughout the state. We want to make sure that we can go out and grab as many people as far as voting delegates as possible to let them hear the urban difference. We've been living making a difference here in the city of Flint for a long time. I personally have pioneered. I've helped champion uh, Republicanism within the inner city. So I know for a fact that the ethnic vice chair, you need a strong, strong, strong candidate that are, is going to be principled. Uh, we've had Obama elected two times. Uh, we've the previous time, currently, uh, the previous ethnic vice chair, 97, high 90 percent of the African American vote voted for Obama. I think that is at least uh, enough for you to say, you know, we really should consider a different candidate. We really should take a look at uh, hearing what Darwin Giles has to say about this ethnic position, listening to his plan to educate of uh, the legacy of freedom, to be able to employ the correct leadership team that know the culture, being able to execu execute excellence in all areas of relationship building, and also uh, just to make sure that, that we're, we're pushing for change and innovation. And we're staying true to morality. We don't want to just bring republicanism on a fiscal responsibility notion only. We want to stay true to life protecting life. We want to stay true to protecting family. We want to stay true to protecting American traditional values. And those are the things that are going to make a difference throughout this campaign. If you want to vote for the status quo, you want to vote for politics as usual, then vote for my candidate. If you want someone that's going to go into the inner city and make a difference, then I'm asking you to consider voting for me. Consider voting for a person that has lived the message of the urban difference and true ethnic change based on principle, not just on ethnicity, but based on principle and following spirituality in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So with that alone, we'd like to say thank you. We've had a great success on the campaign trail. We will continue to do that, and I will come to you and update you as much as I can as we get closer to turning out the events. Also, before I step away, uh, Pancake and Politics event, was very successful in Rochester, gained a lot of support. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing many more of you spread the word out. Please join uh, my social network at Darwin Giles for Michigan GOP Ethnic Vice Chair on Facebook. Uh, continue to support, continue to let know, let everyone know that you're, you're, you're voting for the true conservative candidate. Uh, and I believe that you 
will make a difference in the turnout of this actual election. In 2008, my father passed away in a way that sometimes still hurts to mention. But I use the experiences that I've had, every crisis I've overcome, to make a true difference, to make a difference in the lives of the community and others through spirituality, through biblical principle. We need to stay true to our Christian faith and our Judeo-Christian values at a time when things are just out of control globally. But I believe true leadership can make a difference and we can turn things around. So with that, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting Flint Urban Culture and have a blessed day. God bless.